folks, Engineer775 here. Um, what am I doing? I'm tearing the place up. It's been so wet, rain nonstop. But we're going to take advantage of it. I just uh, purchased this new Yanmar VIO35, and uh, I have a Yanmar YT347 tractor. So, I'm very thankful to have two new pieces of equipment. And so, I'm going to do one of the things that I made a mistake with my old tractor. I never really had a building to put it in to keep it out of the weather. So what I'm beginning here is um, I'm going to build a building here in this location. And so this is going to be the, the house that Yamar built. And uh, this slab has always been an aggravation for me. It's one of the first things I did here. I framed it. Um, it was just a slab to have like an RV set up here, which worked really well. Except the guys that poured it made a bowl of it. You can see where the water settles. And it's always been an aggravation. It's always captured water. And I just got fed up with it. And so, um, anyway, I'm building a 30 by 55 building. 30 by 40 of it will be under concrete. And then I'll have a shed uh, with a roof so I can put the mini and the tractor under roof out of the sun. And I didn't want to put them on concrete because you can see... They just, when you drive one of these in on a nice slab, you just leave in mud everywhere. So they'll be on gravel, but then I'll have a nice little workshop that I'll eventually connect to my 30 by 40 shop over here. And so I can be able to move things back and forth with a pallet jack or a tractor, or whatever, using um, just, I need another place for all the solar panels, customers' equipment. This is going to be a red steel building from Heritage Building Systems. And I'll be talking more about that. But um, this slab is so aggravated me. So today, I said, you know what? It's raining. I'm still going to get on the machine. And so I just said, I'm going to go bust up this slab. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to, uh, I'm just busting it. So I'll say, see if I could do it. So the machine's pretty stout. And I'm just going to chip away at it and not be too abusive to the machine. It's got some nice gravel under there I put in there. Spent a lot of time prepping this slab, and then they just poured it to make a big bowl of water collecting in it. I did saw it to have a drain in here, but it's going to be a nightmare to pour over. Um, it'll cause cracking in my other slab. I'm just going to get rid of it, start clean um, with everything here. So anyway, so you'll be seeing a lot of my Yanmars and really happy with my selections did a lot of research so far so good got 100 hours on the tractor and i've put about three hours on the mini so it'll be it's going to be fun and constructive and this whole area is going to be a shop so stay tuned okay elijah's helping me pick up all the busted concrete pieces and he's putting them in a bucket good job lower it down Open the thumb. Woo! Two points. Open the thumb. All right, go grab another piece. Ah, oh, nice sunny day. Yeah, grab that one back there. That one too. That works. Get that. Good job. Go down farther. All right, pick up. Look at that. Oh. Curl the bucket a little more. Now hit the thumb. Now pick it up. Oh, you didn't curl it hard enough. Open up. Open. Open thumb. Open the bucket. Down. Curl the bucket. Thumb. All right, now pick it up. Oh, tasty. That Yamar is hungry. This is better than an Xbox. This is real life Xbox. No comment. Good job, kid. I'm not leaving that bucket attached to my tractor because I don't feel like having my hood smashed. Not that he would do that, but who knows. We're going to be careful today. Good job. Smile for the camera.
Well, he's doing it his way. Through the cows and through the solar panels. Yeehaw. Get through here. Woo. All right, there's some red steel, red iron, boxes and things. All right, we got two hours to unload this baby. Should be not, shouldn't be a problem. Engineer 775 here in between rain showers. Trying to get this uh, slab poured for the building. Got the batter boards up. Got the string set. I'm gonna do a six inch, six inch slab here. So this first area is 30 by 40, and then that area over there is kind of my equipment shed, and that'll be all gravel. And uh, so I got to put in. I got to make three boxes for the piers. There's basically nine piers. And in this section, they're tied into the footings. So, got to go pick up my rebar and my chairs to elevate the rebar. And then I'm going to put a drain in the center. Um, just uh, just going to put a drain in. Um, right now, it's just a plastic heavy-duty grate. I'm not really driving in on it, so I think it'll be good. And if I bust the plastic out, I found a um, there is a metal insert I can get for it. So right now I just picked one up locally. It's a plastic insert drain and I'm going to taper taper the slab down. I think I'm going to just give it like a one, one inch and a half fall from the edges to the center drain. I'm not going to be putting any plumbing or anything in here, but if I ever want to wash this thing down, clean up, that drain is going to come in handy. I got my three inch pipe for it. So time to, uh, so what I'm going to do now is basically paint paint these paint under these lines and then pull the strings down and dig my footings and my piers to get this thing ready for concrete all right and one of the tools that we use all the time on our solar jobs especially for our ground mounts is uh, the laser transit and I bought this as a C CST burger uh, it's an LM30 and it was refab. The laser was refabbed in it, so I haven't had any issues. I figured a laser either works or it doesn't, and uh, so that that's been good. I've had it for a couple years now. Really handy for shooting grade. Makes it super easy and accurate. All right, batter boards up, strings are up. Six-inch pad here, and equipment shed over there. We're getting there. All right, it is time to pour. We've got concrete trucks on their way, I hope. And uh, we're going to pour the shop today. And pour the piers for the, the shed portion. Pour everything. And come back tomorrow and saw it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna do like 12 feet of... i got a drain in it just in case I want to wash it out. But uh, I don't want a lot of fall. So on the... On the edges, I'm going to do 12 foot of keeping it flat, and then I'll just taper down to the drain. And uh, so it can have the benches and things around the edge sit level and pallets of materials and all that good stuff. So looking forward to seeing some concrete this morning. It's a kind of a foggy morning. All right. Always an exciting day when the concrete trucks show up. Right, 
we're almost ready for some concrete. Yeah, I wonder damn guy comes in here. He's ready. All right, they said eight o'clock. Yeah. 